GMA Health Alert right now. More than 30 million Americans with type 2 diabetes. In a new study, almost half the participants were able to reverse the disease and achieve remission without using drugs or insulin. And nutritionist Maya Feller is here. She's going to tell us so much more about it. on the study. Okay, so the first thing that is important to remember is that the participants in this study had a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes okay. for six years or less and were never on insulin. This leads us to believe that they still had some level of pancreatic function. Over the course of three to five months, they were put on a very low calorie diet where they took in between 825 and 853 calories. This was medically supervised. Okay. Of those people, 46% actually achieved diabetes remission. We believe that this is in part because, you know, on average they lost around 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. And this type of weight loss takes stress off of the pancreas and allows it to function better. But I have to say, it was medically supervised and this is not something that people should go at alone. You want to emphasize that. I Medically supervised, it was a liquid diet, 800, when you, what does 850 calories look like on a plate? Okay, so let me walk you through a day. Right. This is breakfast here. For breakfast, we have half of an avocado with about two ounces of tuna. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really, you know, that's a small portion. Okay, right. And then we move on to lunch, and here at lunch, we have a handful of watercress, right? Four cherry tomatoes, a quarter of a cucumber, a spring onion, and a little bit of chicken. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, not terrible. Well, but remember, this is the whole day. Right. And then dinner, we have a few ounces of fish, a quarter cup of chickpeas, and a quarter of a potato. I can see while a fifth of the people that were all part of this, they dropped out. They, they just could not, they, they just simply could not do this. So what are the downsides of this program? Okay, so one of the downsides of this program is that, you know, you risk dehydration because mm -hmm. you're not taking in significant amount of water from your food or that matter. You could become constipated because look, it's a very low, you know, residue, low intake. Also, we're concerned about the loss of muscle because because of the rapid rate of weight loss. Of course, you should be seeing your doctor if something like this is happening to you, diabetes or other kind of conditions, but what else can you do to help monitor your situation? Okay, so I always recommend for any patient that's diabetic, it's really important to increase your physical activity, okay. right, on a daily basis. You also wanna make sure that you cut your processed food intake, as well as eating on a regular and consistent basis. All to keep in mind, Maya, thank you very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.